everyone. This is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. As you can see, we're still in green here, but in a couple weeks, this is going to change. So watch for that. You know, I'm sure you all know what a butterfly looks like. And I don't know if you've ever seen the life cycle of a butterfly, but you know, it starts as an egg, it moves, it becomes a caterpillar, and then the caterpillar forms a little pod like that that's formed, that's called a chrysalis. And then the, um, the adult butterfly transforms. It comes out of the chrysalis and then it's an, it's an adult butterfly. Probably wondering, why is Miss Gemma bringing up butterflies today? You know, just like the butterfly, we go through so many changes throughout our life. As we grow, we might go to a new school or make new friends and we'll grow up and have families. We might move to a new place. And throughout these changes, through these transformations, one thing never changes. God is always with us. Our faith tells us that even when we die, our life has changed, but it does not end. So in today's gospel, some people ask Jesus about what happens when people die. So I want to read to you the gospel. So a reading from the gospel of Luke. May Christ's word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. There were some people called Sadducees who came to Jesus and asked him a tricky question. They asked him what marriage would look like in heaven. Jesus said to them, eternal life is not like life here. In heaven, people don't get married like they do here on earth. People who are worthy to live forever will be like angels. They will be true children of God and will never die anymore. Jesus knew that they asked this question because they didn't believe that people will rise after death and live forever. So Jesus said, you don't believe people can live after death, but even Moses proved that they do. When he wrote about the burning bush, he called God the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now God is the God of living people not of dead people. Everyone is alive for God. The gospel of the Lord. And you all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in today's gospel, who came to talk to Jesus? It was a group called the Sadducees. So they were religious leaders who did not believe in the resurrection or the happiness of heaven. So what did, Je what did they ask Jesus about? They were asking what marriage would be like in heaven. They asked Jesus this as a trick question or maybe as a riddle. And how did Jesus answer them? Jesus explains that heaven or eternal life is not like life here on earth. Those that die and are worthy will go to heaven to live forever with Jesus. God, our blessed mother, and all the saints and angels. That sounds like a fun place to go someday, wouldn't you say? Jesus' response to the Sadducees shows that we sometimes miss the most important things about what God has planned for us because we get stuck in the details of life. Jesus wants us to open our minds and hearts to the possibilities of what God has in store for us. Our imaginations are just too small when it comes to God. Remember, Jesus promised us that if we love him and trust in him, we will live forever in heaven with him. So let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and his role as shepherd of our church, may God's wisdom strengthen him in his leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the light of Christ to reach all hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. As we go through changes in our life, that we will remember to trust in Jesus' promise to be with us always. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Just a brief little prayer to end up today. Dear Jesus, we thank you for showing us the way to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next week. Bye.